Tank. He said, hey, we need to talk. Kicked all the coaches out the room. It was an offense-only, players-only meeting. Now, look, I've been a part of several mm -hmm. players-only meetings. Yeah. They usually change nothing. <laughs> but what they mean is everything. Yeah. They mean there is chaos occurring in the building on either the offensive side of the ball, the defensive side of the ball, or both sides of the ball. I was on the New York Giants on practice squad in 2013, a Giants team that had won the Super Bowl two years prior. Antro Roll was there. Mm. Justin Tuck was there. Called a players-only meeting because we were sorry, sorry. Bad, bad. Got the whole defense together. Hey, fellas, we got to get this straight now. Mm -hmm. We continued to lose. <laughs> Thankfully, the Eagles signed me to the active roster, and I left a couple weeks later. With that being said, players-only meetings are never a good thing to five. You know the Bills. You know these players. You were an all-pro running back for the Bills in that organization, in that locker room, with those coaches. Now, I have an issue with who called the meeting. I'll get to that later. But for now, oh. for now, Big deal or no deal? I, I can't, that's a big deal, what you just said. I yes, it is. I want, I, you should have went with that. Why? Not, <laughs> yeah, I want to hear that. You got a big deal because the, the running back, the backup running back? Tay? Latavius Murray yeah, for context. He's the backup running back. Backup yeah. running back, 34-year-old. Yeah. Uh, old oldest running back in the, in the league. Why you got a problem with that? Here's why I got a problem with it. Here's why I got a problem with it. Everybody got a problem with it. Everybody has to know who they are on the team. Josh Allen has been with the Bills his entire career, 2017, Correct. I think. Yeah. Cool. Stephon Diggs has been with the Bills, I believe, since 2019. Mm -hmm. Latavius Murray got to the Bills yesterday. Literally, he got to the Bills six months ago. Yeah. Okay. So, who are you? You don't even know this team. Ooh. You don't know this I roster. Oh, you don't know oh, these no. dudes. No, 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 no. Um, Diggs and 20. I, I just am saying, yeah. how are you oh, going to call it? Let Josh man. Allen do that. Right, first of all. Let Diggs do that. No, because they're not doing it. I'm That's why I got to do I'm it. I'm totally against what you're talking about. Uh-oh. Mm. Yeah, like, I mean that. Uh -oh. Because for you to say, who are you? It's like this team. We a team, though, first of all. Sure. And he spent, what, 12 years in the league, something like that? A lot, yeah. The oldest running back in the league. He got his, he got his years, and he's he a does. true vet. No doubt about so that. When it, when, when, okay, let me take it back. Take it back. Good when, 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 when GMs yeah. bring in certain players, they bring, they bring them in for roles, sure. right? Mm -hmm. So a guy like Murray, who, mm -hmm. who's not going to get a lot of carries, but he plays, plays enough, plays a role. they bring him for a role as a vet, as a leader, mm -hmm. as a voice. So it don't have to be Josh. I don't have to be none of them guys. It's a guy that's respecting the league, that's been around for a lot of years, that knows ball. Sure. He's like, yo, let's get this thing together. I love when a player does that. It makes everybody aware. I don't care who it is. As long as somebody that's re respected, you don't know how he's respected in that locker room. We just, we, you just talking mm. on how you feel, but you don't know how he's respected of course, in the locker room. But I know locker rooms enough. Obviously, you played longer than I. I will not try to talk over you. But I know locker rooms enough to know, Shady, when you went to the Chiefs, I would be hard-pressed, based on everything I know about you and what you've told me about your tenure with the Chiefs. I think you went to the Chiefs in year 10 mm -hmm. or year 9 of the National Football League. I don't think LaShawn McCoy, with Patrick Mahomes on that roster, mm -hmm. with Travis Kelsey on that roster, with Tyree Kill on that roster, I personally mm. don't see you calling a players-only meeting because you know, I just got here. Well, first of all, first, first, but see, but, but LaShawn, you just, first thing you said was LaShawn McCoy walking the building. I, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. I mean, I come with experience. I come with stats. You did. I come no with doubt. a name. So I give you a better situation, right? So the Bucks, the Bucks. I wasn't running the ball like that, but my voice was when I would speak, people would listen. When we had to, when our running back meetings and all that, I was running the meetings. Offensive. When we had offensive group um, talks, Tom Brady would call on me to, to be responsible for the running backs, mm -hmm. not Leonard Fournette, not the other guys. They were actually doing the, doing the real work. Yeah. So. That's just your opinion. I can't say you're wrong. Yeah. But I'm saying when you have a brotherhood, you have respect, and, and everything is like, um, even on TV, there's certain people you don't respect more because of the, the work they put in. Mm -hmm. dude, dude could be a, a, a hot flash. He's real good, but he ain't got no real, no, no, no time invested. It's like, okay, cool. But I ain't gonna, I, I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole other conversation. Sure. I totally disagree, by the way. I want to go to the, the, um, the, the players meeting, right? So when I was with the Bucks, now Tom Brady is different. And... They had it, we were before the bye week. We, were, we had a, we were up and down that season, going to the bye week. And uh, we lost before the bye. And then now the coach does a little breakdown, whatever, and then we go home for the week or whatever it may be. So somehow it was a meeting early, like at 7 a.m. So everybody's dragging to get to the meeting. Right? I'm like, we like, who called this freaking meeting? Like, you know what I mean? And Tom said, I did. We like, oh. But to say all that, to say this, it, it was a respect thing because a coach can't save this, this, this team, right? The trainers can't save this team. We can. Everybody needs to hold each other accountable. If you miss that tackle and I don't say nothing to you, I'm letting you down. You know you need to make that tackle. The running back, you need to make that block so I can throw this ball. As a, when you take the coaches out of it, the equation, you, just, you make it all about the players, yeah. that's when it's really dialed in. So I love when I seen they had an all-players you know, players meeting. That's good. That's good. Come on, hey, Joy. Talk to us, Joy. Uh, it, it's something. Mm -hmm. like, to your point earlier, they could continue to be inconsistent for the rest of the year and it means nothing. Or this could be the thing that turns it around. 
and gets them into a whole other space. We won't know until we know. But it's definitely something. You're not having these meetings because everyone in the building is comfortable. Right. And everyone's not attending if they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. So to your point about who called it, clearly, whoever called it, everyone was like, yeah, yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's do that. Let's, let's attend. Let's talk about this and let's get into it because we're in a space where we're being very inconsistent. You just lost a, a, a really, really big game. And, and you look, it's, it's win, loss, win, loss. That's not going to work. And it's not going to be reflective in the postseason. You need to be consistent in, in this stretch of the season, be playing your best football. So it's definitely something. I mean, we, they know that there's questions about their consistency. They know Josh Allen has, has mm -hmm. Josh Allen knows there's some questions about their consistency, consistency and his consistency of play. So I, I think a reset, I think a, a refocus at players only meeting is probably exactly what they needed. Yeah. Now, Will it have any effect? Is it something more than just morale? Again, we won't know until the end of the yeah. season, but it's, it's not particularly surprising. Yeah, it's a couple things that happens with these team meetings, right? <laughs> Number one, when you know it is a team meeting, that means something ain't right. That, mm -hmm. that, let's get that out the way. The point blank period, something ain't right. All right? Number two, I have been in team meetings to where a star has called a team meeting, and I have been in meetings to where a backup has called a team meetings. And you know what team meeting was much better? when the backup called the meeting. And the reason why I say that is because that backup stood up there and he says, I hear you, Shady, you the star running back. Why are you complaining about the plays, bro? It ain't the plays. We've been running the same plays for the last two years. Mm. They've been working, mm. right? It'd be hard for Josh Allen to stand up there and call Diggs out like that. We're probably out any, you know, hey, get back at him or mm. sensitivity and all that, right? You, you know what, JJ, run your route. You're talking about the plays and all that. Run your route to win. We complaining about too much. And we got so much more out of the meeting. All the sensitivity, you know, was put to the side, put to the shelf, because you had this backup like, dude, I'm hearing everything mm -hmm. on the sideline, right? I've been listening to these plays for the last three years. We won a Super Bowl with. We've been to an AFC championship with, whatever it may be, right? And now y'all complaining about we got we to get this stuff right. We are not making plays, point blank, period. So for me, I don't care if it's the star that called a meeting, right. the backup called a meeting, uh, the, the trainer called a meeting. Whoever called a meeting, they ain't seeing nothing right, right? And when you talk about a players-only meeting, it don't matter who it is because it's different voices in that locker room. Just because you got Brady on the back of your name, that don't just mean you're a super right. leader. Right. That's true. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So for me, for Latavius to call this meeting, I respect him because mm -hmm. whether I'm playing a lot or not, I'm seeing what's going on. You're speaking and about what it. I'm seeing what's going on ain't turning into wins. So all y'all need to drop your pride at the door. Whatever Latavius wanted that team meeting to be about, we got to get this stuff hey, turned let, around. Let, so let me ask you, I don't mind who called the meeting. Let me ask you one more question because what you said about just who's calling the meeting and, mm -hmm. and if on the Chiefs. So knowing who, who I am, right, how I am, not who I am, but how I am, if Patrick Mahomes makes the wrong read on a on the RPO. If Travis Kelsey misses a certain block, right? Do you think I'm gonna speak up about that? I think you would've. Okay. Yeah, I think you would've. So, if you know I would do that, then why wouldn't a, a player, because I wasn't playing that much, right? Mm -hmm. Now, at the time I was starting, but let's say, let's say when I wasn't, let's say when I wasn't starting, let's say I was the backup. Mm -hmm. Do you think I still would've said something? No. Why? Because it doesn't imminently impact you. The, the you that I knew in Philly. Okay. Well, you know, that's all, I don't okay, know, you so, could've. So that's why when, I, when we talk about the years invested. Right now, he's trying to win. I'm, look, the same as Murray's trying to win right now. No doubt. I don't think he's trying to win a Russian title. He's trying no to doubt. win. <laughs> so at that e time, I was trying to win. Yeah. So if, if I see that something's right, now maybe that's probably my issue with, with, you know, something's going on. But if I see something wrong, the same way he did, I'm going I'm to speak up about it. Like, yo, what's, what, what's going on? If I see you, head of this show, mm -hmm. doing something that ain't supposed to be right, what you think I'm going to do? Just let you just do it? <laughs> no, I'm gonna speak up. But, but all I say all that, all I say all that to say, because I'm not into that. I say all that to say, but like, we can't be a real team. We can't have a real bond if you don't hold me accountable. Yes. Let me. Let I don't me. care what the roles are. Here's my thought process. It's not so much about you holding me accountable. It's more so about do you know what accountability within this building looks like? Mm -hmm. James brought up a great point. I wrote it down when you were telling your story, James, about a backup calling a players only meeting. Mm -hmm. It may have been hyperbole when you were saying you may have been facetious, but you said, hey, the backup you were speaking as him said, hey, I've been here for a couple years yeah. now. If Latavius Murray had been a part of the Bills roster for multiple years, I got no issue. Yeah. It, it, to me, it's not that Latavius Murray is a backup. To me, it's that Latavius Murray showed up on May 1st. Okay. You don't know this offense. 
So how are you going to say that this offense looks bad? Because you don't know what this offense but we looks don't like. Know. He ain't watching tape. No, no, no. no. Oh, 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 he ain't watching tape. He ain't, he, he ain't in the office. He, when the coach is breaking things down, he's not in there? Real what, we also real. don't. We don't have no idea what the dynamic of their locker room is. For all we know, he could be the most beloved player in that locker room. He could be the one that can talk to every single person and get along with everybody. He could be the bridge, for all we know, between Josh Allen and Diggs when they're getting into it. We don't know what his role is there, but he is a vet. We do know that he has many, many years in this league. So if he's comfortable calling that meeting, and clearly they clearly they respect him or or they wouldn't have gone to the meeting. You still, and, I don't agree just, with that, though. Yeah. Why? Because you, if somebody called a meeting, you're going to the meeting. If, ever, if some random person who I don't, I don't have respect what they have to say about what I do for a living is like, yeah, I want to call a meeting together, I'd be like, okay, I'm busy. Yeah. But <laughs> whatever it is, you could put it in an email for me, regardless of how things are going. So, no, I'm not going to a meeting just because somebody asks me to. I'm going because I respect what they have to say. But wh whoever called the meeting, regardless, they're already telling us. Josh is already telling us this isn't good enough. The Bills are already telling us this isn't good enough. None of these meetings happen if you guys are rolling. You just ripped off five straight. Why are you having a players-only meeting? And, and this is not... I've never been a part of a team meeting that's about X's and O's. I've been a part of team means as a part of attitude. Attitude, yeah. Complaining yep. and all, you know what I'm saying? That, that's Effort. why, these, yeah, that's why these teams meet and happen. It's like, bro, it's too, it's too much. Y'all group over here talking about what coach ain't doing, talking about what offense ain't doing. It, it's too much of that. Attitudes and all that, I, I see that on the play. Some of the greatest teams that I've been on, the leaders have been backups. That's true. The leaders ain't had the big names on the back of their jerseys. They, they, they well respected in the locker room still, whether they made 15 touchdowns, whether they made two, right? So for me, for Latavius to call this meeting, for, no, for, for Latavius to call this meeting, that's a dude like, bro, the mojo ain't right on this team. Uh, so right? the effort ain't right on this team. It's all like it ain't. I'm coming up in here, Dorsey need to do this and call this and do that, right? But hey, we ain't we ain't even practicing the right way no more. We it's a lot of stuff that goes into these team meetings, so, and I don't care who calls it. So you, you, when he made when he said that, you made that face like because you you care who's saying it, who's calling the meeting, correct? Right? So. With the Patriots, a lot of my, a lot of my teammates that I played with from the Patriots when they were running things, that was Brady. But as far as who was the vocal, we always see videos of Tom Brady talking all that. I don't even watch special teams like that. Probably Matthew Slater. Slater. Slayton. Slater. Slater. Matthew Slater. Slater. Now, now check it out. Personally, I don't really deal with the special team stuff I like that. Okay, but what I'm saying is, most players, right, ain't really trying to hear what the special team do. Of course, true that. But true that. the reason why they want to hear what he had to say because they respect him. Sure yeah. Years he's invested in the league mm -hmm. and the, the hard work and all that. So if he calls a, a, a players only meeting, they're going to show up. And he's a special team guy. Here's, here's the difference. And I, I will take ownership because I'm not doing a good enough job communicating this message. Obviously, I know Matthew Slater. I played special teams. Matthew Slater is also, I believe, Andy, one of the 10 most longest tenured Patriots in the history yeah. of yeah. The, or, a New Orleans organization. I have no issue with being a backup. No issue. My issue is with how long have you been there? Now, your experience, more years than me, yours, more years but than me, different quick, experience. Let me, let, 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 so let that, this. that is where my issue lies. So, James Jones, <laughs> uh, you've been a part of this show, thankfully, I think for four months now. Right. I personally don't see you being like, hey, we all need to talk. I don't, I don't yeah. see it. Yeah. I don't think you, I don't see you being like, hey, you know what I mean? Joy, I know you've been at Fox for seven years. Shady, you've been here for two. Ach, you've been here for four. I just got here, yeah. but we need to talk because what y'all doing ain't right. I'd be like, yeah. hmm? Yeah, but know, we, we, all, we, all, we all respect well, James, though. James, is, this isn't James' first television yeah, show. Of course, but, but, but that, wait, wait, so wait, let's say we had an issue on this show, <laughs> right? And James, he said four months, he was here, four months, yeah. whatever. Okay. And he spoke about it. You would be like... I said, I, no, I respect it. I would just be so like, like, you're... You calling a... I'd be surprised. But maybe all of us yeah. are bickering and we don't see it. Right. That's what I'm about to say. That. <laughs> maybe he sees something we don't see. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm That's like, crazy. Joy like... in my ear over here, Shady in my yeah. ear over here. Would you, let's, out, per, let's personalize this. Would you feel comfortable... Like, as somebody, you've done TV, yeah. I mean, you're, you're older than me, you've done TV yeah. longer than me, I believe. Would you feel comfortable as somebody who's only been here for four, 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 four months, a part of a ship that's already moving, that's sailing, would you even feel comfortable? But their ship I isn't feel, sailing. Their feel, ship is sinking and then yeah. rising again. Yeah. But we I, are sailing. Yeah. Yeah, her, they ship like I would, the Titanic. <laughs> but I would feel comfortable if I felt like it was that bad just because the relationships I feel like I have with y'all. Right. Like, hold on, man. Like, this show finna go under if I feel like I don't say nothing, if it was that bad. You know what I'm saying? So, for Latavius to not be a lead... So, really quick, I want to go back to the point, because you said you, 
he's, he wasn't there. He, he ain't there long enough for, to say something. In my opinion. So I what if his name was bigger on the back of his jersey and he just got there for five months? That's all. That's good. That's no matter you. That would carry more weight. If he was like Shady, if he had, you know, if he was a future Hall of Famer, that would, to me, carry more weight. But, but, but what does he know, though? He, he just got there. He don't really know the offense. He don't really know the defense. So here's whatever. my thought process. I don't even know of Latavius Murray knowing the way. Now, again, no shade. He's played for 11 years. 11 years is a long time. If Shady steps in, he won a Super Bowl. So you know what? He's been where the Bills haven't been. So if Shady says something, but we don't you know, know what? what they're discussing. Like it's not necessarily uh, that he's going in there and saying, "Hey, this is how you win a Super Bowl." Maybe he's just like, "This is so," and, and we don't know what's going on in the Bills locker room. But maybe he's just saying, "This is so toxic that," I, that and no one is going to take the the initiative to call this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do it because I have been in the league for 11 years. I have been in good locker rooms. I've been in bad locker rooms. I've seen how good leaders lead. I've been around guys that have won championships. I've talked to players who are the greatest of all time. So I have all Let these experiences. Let me ask you a question, Joy. Let me ask you a what, question. What if he's, what, this is my thing though, right? And I, we keep making it about his X and O's or, 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 or how long he's been there. What if it's like, I'm, I'm watching tape after a game mm -hmm. and I don't see hustle. Right? I see guys pouting at the bad plays. I see this. I see that. And I'm speaking about it. You don't need to be there for an eternity to know that. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.